It's best known for her satirical comedy on Saturday Night Live. Now 20 years after leaving the hit show, Victoria Jackson is back in the spotlight. But this time it's for her political views. She's now a conservative commentator and she's in Middle Tennessee taking a critical look as the, at the Islamic Center of Murfreesboro. Three stars is the best. This is how most people know Victoria Jackson. In the late 80s and early 90s, her dim-witted characters on Saturday Night Live brought her a lot of laughs and fame. I am now a citizen journalist. This is Jackson today. I'm here at the current uh, Islamic Center of Murfreesboro. Tackling a topic she says is no laughing matter. I'm trying to use my fading SNL fame to shine a light on a topic that nobody in the media will talk about. That topic is Islam. Jackson came to Middle Tennessee to produce a story on the Islamic Center of Murfreesboro. It says, take your shoes off and put them in the rocks. And its new mosque, now under construction. The comic turned conservative political activist doesn't mince words about why she thinks this building is rising in the middle of rural Tennessee. I think the big Islamic Center will be a breeding ground for terrorists. I mean, duh. I mean, this is the Bible Belt and Murfreesboro is the buckle on the Bible Belt, and it's a college town, so uh, my feeling is they came here to convert people to Islam. Jackson brought her camera to the current Islamic Center offices in Murfreesboro. But it's very small. But no one was available for an interview. No luck either at the construction site just outside town. All right. But Jackson did recently interview congressional candidate Luann Zelnick for her story. She's an expert. Is in Islam. Zelnick has been an outspoken opponent of the mosque. I interviewed her. I got some facts. Jackson claims there's a fatwa or Islamic decree calling for her death because of her criticisms. I tolerate all religions except the ones that want to kill me. Maybe that's part of it. Jackson plans to post her completed story on the conservative website PatriotUpdate.com. By the way, we tried unsuccessfully to contact leaders of the Islamic Center for a response. One local Muslim official who wishes to remain anonymous told us members have worked hard to build bridges of understanding and that he says Jackson's comments aren't worthy of a response.